Hello guys. Now I'm shooting this on the DJI Pocket 3. The lens is pretty wide. Well, especially when I stand this far away from it. But let me show you how wide it can get when I put this KF Concept wide angle lens on it. Now it's even wider. Now one of the challenges of shooting with a wide angle lens or like the, with the lens that I have on the DJI Pocket 3 is that um, lines, especially towards the edges or towards the edges of the frame, appear curved, right? The further you go away from the center of the frame, all lines appear curved like you can see in this particular frame. And I figured out a way to correct that and make the lines appear a little bit straighter in CapCut. And that's what this video is about. So I'm going to hop over to CapCut to show you. It's not going to take more than five minutes of your time. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Stay tuned. All right, guys, back inside. Let's go into CapCut. So I'll show you how to do it. Just in case you don't know. And you've been wondering how to go about it. I mean, I just discovered it yesterday. As you can see, the edges of this cupboard are curved and as well as some of the straight lines in the back and so the goal is to straighten it out and make it look a little less distorted and that's what this trick is about so um, let's go into cap cuts let's open cap cuts and bring in our footage so this is all the footage i've recorded today and uh, i think we can start with let's start with this one of me in the office because it shows the distortion better. You can see from the lines on the side here. So let me just take the volume down. Now, the simple trick is that you come to effects and search for wide angle or wide lens. So I have it here. It's the first one that popped up. And you drag that effect over the footage. Now, as you see, when I drag the effect over the footage, it actually, by default, it actually reverses the distortion. So let me show you what I mean by on and off. This is the original footage. You can see the, line, the lines are curved outward. But when I um, leave the effect on without tweaking anything at strength of 45, you can see that it reverses the distortion a little bit. And so all you have to do is just tweak the strength of the distortion to suit what you want. And as you can see, the distortion is fixed. Now we have a straight line. Now if you look closely, and this is something I think is just unique to the um, effect, the line is not a perfect straight line that just seemed to be some wobbliness or some kind of curving you know along the line the edge but it's better than leaving it the way it was before this is the original footage curved and this is a straight line and again depends on how finely you tweak it so i find that for this particular footage around this around strength of 33 32 keeps it good you know if you bring the strength all the way up to 99 you can see it totally reverses the curvature and gives you another distortion distortion effect and if you leave it at zero what you have is what you had originally so around 33 seems to be the sweet spot and there we have like a perfect line and let me bring in let's bring in another clip and that has some distortion um i want something that really shows the distortion Mm, okay, let's try this one. This one doesn't really show the distortion so much, but uh, let's 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 look at it a bit closely. So if you can see, the lines here seems to be a little curved. Line here seems to be a little curved. And when I extend this effect over this part, what happens? The line straightens out. So this is it before, after, before, after. Look at the edges of the frame. Before this. Line is curved, this line is curved. After, 
the lines seem a bit straighter. So you can always tweak it the way you want. So that's basically it guys. Just wanted to show you real quick how to correct lens distortion in CapCut just in case you didn't know. And um, yeah, if you find this tip helpful and if you like me to talk about other tips and tricks, editing tips, tips and tricks. In the last few videos, I've actually really been talking a lot about videography and filmmaking for beginners. The first one in this series was where I talked about some quick and free um, editing software you can get into and the basics about video editing. And um, I also did another video that talked about how to make sure you get steady footage with your camera, especially if you're shooting handheld. And um, yeah, I think I'll continue talking about video editing, it's something I do every day. I hope this video was helpful. Leave me a comment if you liked the video and if you think it's been helpful. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.